हॅलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ मिस्टर ए एन सुबडे असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम मेकॅनिकल डिपार्टमेंट टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द शेअर फोर्स अँड बेंडिंग मुवमेंट डायग्रॅम ॲट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टुडंट विल बी एबल टू ड्रॉ शेअर फोर्स अँड बेंडिंग मुवमेंट डायग्रॅम फॉर गिवन लोड कंडिशन सो वी विल डिस्कस टुडे ड्रॉ शेअर फोर्स अँड बेंडिंग मुवमेंट डायग्रॅम for a beam of length l subjected to uniform distributed load over its entire span so consider a cantilever beam whose end a is fixed and free end b the length of the beam is l and this beam is subjected to uniform distributed load where the weight of loading is w newton per meter for this we have to draw shear force and bending moment diagram before that we will see the sign conventions for the shear force calculation and bending moment calculation so if we consider the section xx and if we refer the left side of the section the resultant of the forces and reaction acting in the upward direction is considered to be positive whereas the forces resultant of the forces and reaction acting to the right side of the section acting in the downward direction considered to be positive where the resultant of the forces and reaction acting to the left side of the section in the downward direction are considered to be negative whereas to the right side of the section upward forces are considered to be negative similarly for bending moment calculation the bending moment at the section is considered to be positive when the resultant of the moment due to the forces and reaction acting in clockwise direction to the left side of the section and in anti clockwise direction to the right side of the section these moments are considered as positive and these are known as sagging moment whereas the bending moment at the section consider to be negative if the moment due to the reaction and forces acting to the left side of the section in anti clockwise direction and to the right side of the section acting in clockwise direction such a moments are considered as negative and these are called as hogging moment so with this we will start to solve this particular problem first of all consider the section xx normal to the axis of the beam at a distance x from end b and calculate the shear forces to the right side of the section therefore shear force at section xx to its right side is equal to so shear force is nothing but it is the forces acting to the left side of the section or to the right side of the section so the force which is acting to the right side of the section is the weight of load w and it spread over distance x as this is the total load w into x acting in the downward direction so to the right side of the section downward forces are considered to be positive therefore the shear force is w into x in this case the shear force between point b to a varies according to the linear law and the shear force value at b and at a that can be obtained by putting the value x equal to 0 and x equal to l so when we put x equal to 0 shear force at point b is equal to 0 whereas when we put x equal to l the shear force at point a is equal to w into l and therefore the shear force diagram for this particular loading this is a baseline all positive values are to be drawn above the baseline all all negative values of shear forces and bending moment are drawn below the baseline so at point b the shear force is zero and the shear force increases from zero to wl at a so the shear force varies according to the linear law and at point a the shear force is w into l as the value is positive it is drawn above the baseline 
so this is your shear force diagram then for bending moment calculation bending moment at section xx referring the right side of the section so bending moment is nothing but the resultant of the moment due to the forces and reaction acting to the left side of the section or right side of the section therefore the total force acting to the right side of the section is rate of load w spread over distance x this is your total load and this total load will act as a point load from section xx at a distance x by 2 so this is x x divided by 2 now the moment to the right side of the section acting in clockwise direction according to the sign convention it is considered to be negative and therefore bending moment at section xx is minus w x square divided by 2 now if we see this particular bending moment equation the bending moment between point b to a varies according to the parabolic curve and it varies as the distance x varies from 0 to l therefore bending moment at point b is obtained by putting x equal to 0 so when x equal to 0 bending moment at b is 0 when you put x equal to l bending moment at point a that is equal to minus w l square upon 2 so we have calculated the bending moment now we have to draw bending moment diagram so draw the baseline as the positive values are to be drawn above the baseline and negative values are to be drawn below the baseline so at point b the bending moment is zero and it goes on decreasing to w l square by 2 according to the parabolic curve and at a the bending moment is w l square by 2 as the bending moment is negative it is drawn below the baseline hence in this case the bending moment varies according to the parabolic curve and in case of cantilever beam the bending moment is always zero at its free end reference my dear students you refer the book strength of material by rk bansal thank you